Use this five minute upper body warm up to increase your bench press. Now this is a common warm up that we utilize when we're doing any kind of upper body strength. So if you're doing any kind of pushing or pulling or any kind of pressing for that matter, you can use this simple five minute routine to overall enhance your ability to push, press, or pull. So first things first, we're gonna start on the ground with some dynamic mobility. This is gonna be 10 reps of prone black burn. So Jordan's gonna go into the prone position. He's gonna turn his thumbs up. And what you're gonna see him do is drive his fingers straight out and drive his elbows back. Now what you don't see is his chest is slightly off the ground, chin is tough, neutral spine. From here, we wanna focus on driving or retracting the scap back and then reaching it out. Basically being able to come out and then be able to drive it down and back, back in. For the next one, we're gonna go prone swimmers. So Jordan's gonna start off in the same prone position. He's gonna start with his thumbs up. And from here, he's gonna perform 10 reps where he's going to actively be driving his hands into the air and he's going to try to touch his hands above his lower back or his butt as he comes back around. Again, being able to work that dynamic mobility of the scap as he runs it through that range of motion. Now you're gonna perform two sets of 10 reps of each of these. So once you get done the swimmers, go back to the black burns, then back to the swimmers. Now, after that, we're gonna get us pick up a mini resistance band and we're gonna put some tension on some of this. So from here, we're gonna go band dislocate. So what I want you to be able to do, grab it, create some tension, and I want you to be able to pull it all the way through, pulling the scap down and back as you go, really opening up the shoulders, opening up the chest here, getting a little bit more of an active stretch, utilizing the resistance. He's gonna perform 10 reps with this. Immediately after he's done with this, he's gonna go band pull-aparts. Now, the reason why I love band pull-aparts, obviously we're turning on, we're adding some resistance to that scap retraction movement. I actually like for him to turn the hands out and go into the supinated position. Reason being is when we externally rotate, I want him to focus on pulling that scap down and back as he pulls it apart. There you go. Sometimes if guys are not being able to do that and they're really rounded in the front, I might even have them raise it just a little bit to be able to focus on pulling that down and back. Now again, with this, you're gonna perform two sets of 10 reps a piece going back and forth. What's up athletes? Hey, real quick, let me introduce you to OTA Pro. So this is the official training app for overtime athletes. With over nine programs and growing, essentially what I've done is I've compiled my best selling programs, whether it be speed, vertical jump, agility, muscle gaining, strength. I've literally laid out every single movement, rep set, and in addition to that, I have videos that walk you through exactly how to do it. So if you're looking for a proven program that guarantees results, it's literally at your fingertips right now. And the best part is, you can get this for the price of a couple Chipotle bowls. So if you're interested, go ahead and check out the link down below. Let's dominate. Now that we've kind of got our warm up, warmed up the shoulders, ran it through a certain range of motion, now we're gonna go a little bit more neuro activation. So for this, you're gonna grab a simple med ball. I don't say anything over 10 pounds. You can increase it, you can progress it, you can fluctuate with this. In any event, what we're looking for is speed here and really firing up the nervous system. So first one he's gonna go into is going to be a med ball wall pass, right? Chest pass. So he's gonna go into a staggered stance because I want a little bit of a stable position here. I don't want the trunk, if he was here squared up, it would require a little bit more on the trunk. I actually want him in this staggered and I want him focused just on this upper half. So he's gonna pull his shoulder blades down and back. We're gonna put 10 seconds on the clock. He's gonna rapid fire. Now, when you extend out, Jordan, go ahead, extend out. From here, I want you about a foot away from the wall. Reason being is because I want you to get full extension and being able to go as fast as you can as you go, making sure that you're not hitting the, your hands on the wall when you go. So just imagine 10 seconds on the clock. Ready and go. Good, as fast as you can, full extension. And time, good. So that just warmed up our pushing motion. Now from here, we're gonna go stagger stance soccer toss, 10 seconds on the clock. So this is really gonna warm up across the elbow, being able to stabilize the shoulder with the lats as well. So overhead from here, 
I really want you to focus on bending at the elbow. If you gotta tuck your chin a little bit to clear your head, that's perfectly fine. 10 seconds on the clock, rapid fire. Ready, and go. Time. Good, as you can see there, like I said, the biggest thing is being able to put that elbow flexion extension through a full range of motion as fast as you possibly can. Again, start off light with this and you can continue to increase as you get better at these and you obviously, your synchronization of the movement will enhance as well. Now from here, we're gonna go shoulder stability. I want you to stand squared up on the wall. From here, I want you as long as you can, driving your scap down and back. From here, I want you to rapid fire, push it into the wall. You're going dribbles off the wall in this position. 10 seconds on the clock, ready and go. And time, go ahead and show me a couple more on the other side. Shoulder down and back, don't reach. Good, ready and go. Good, control it, control it. So as you can see, he's not moving through the elbow. What you can see is he's putting that shoulder in a very stable position, drawing the scap down and back. And then from there, he's basically pushing the ball into the wall, using the entire arm through the shoulder, not necessarily across the elbow or internal external rotation. Then finally, after that, we're gonna add a little bit more resistance to get a little bit more specific. So there's three that I really like to utilize right before the bench press. First one we're gonna go through, just our standard push-up. We're gonna go five reps. Bang. Yep. Three, four, five. Then immediately after that, I wanna isolate each arm to make sure that we've added a little bit more load to it. So we're gonna go staggered grip. It's gonna go five each side. And what this does is this arm, the one that you're utilizing or focusing on, is gonna be right underneath the shoulder where this one is a little bit more staggered, placing a lot more emphasis on this particular hand. So go ahead and go five on each side. Beautiful. Perfect. From this point on, we go ahead and bring the athlete over to the bench press. We'll start off with the barbell, making sure they're doing all their check downs, depending on what level athlete they are, making sure we're creating good habits as far as hand spacing, as far as utilizing the entire body, pushing through the feet, being able to squeeze the glutes, keeping the hips on the bench, being able to retract and pull back the scapula, and then being able to lock that back in place, being able to create torque by driving and externally rotating with the bar, driving down below the nipple line, and being able to drive up using the entire body. So these are all habits and cues that we utilize when we move over to the bench. However, as far as that five minute, five minute warm up, that's exactly what you could do. Make sure you're performing two sets of each, except when you get to the push-ups. I usually only do about one set. Once you've done it a couple times, you can then bump up to a second set. So I hope that helps. There's your five minute warm up to enhance your overall pressing. I'll catch you guys next time.